Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. It's Beyond the Message. I love taking time uh, beyond the weekend message just to share a little extra. So I know many of you enjoy this, so thanks for hanging out with me today. Now, if you weren't with us this weekend, I encourage you to tune in online. You want to do that because the content that I'm going to speak of is really crucial that you understand the context. So this weekend I talked about the importance of community. We need each other. Christians, we cannot do life alone. As a matter of fact, there's no excuse for any Christian to say, oh, I'm all alone. I don't have anybody. We need each other and we have to be around each other. And the truth is, is I've met people uh, over the years in just the church, generally speaking, who are like lone ranger Christians and, and they're just struggling and ineffective in their faith. And it's because we need each other. As a matter of fact, in John chapter 13, uh, in John's gospel, Really cool little scripture, one of my favorite scriptures. A little background here, Jesus um, has really uh, just made profound statements to his disciples. By the way, his disciples were his closest friends when he walked this earth. Uh, he had Peter and James and John and Andrew and Matthew and et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, and John, John, Jesus' closest disciple, is documenting the life in this one particular scene after Jesus washes his disciples' feet. And uh, he gets into this conversation with his disciples about the importance of Christian community. It says in John chapter 13, and let's pick up in verse 34, it says, I am giving you a new commandment. I know you've probably heard this before. If you've been in Christianity for any amount of time, you've heard this. Jesus said, this is a new commandment, love each other love each other just as I have loved you. Now remember, he's speaking to his disciples for the past three years. He has been incredibly encouraging to them, loving them, kind to them, showing them the, the new faith, the new way. And they understand what he's saying. And he's like, look, you need to love each other just like I have loved you. You should love each other. He goes on, and this is, the, this is the verse that I love so much. It says this, your love for one another, Christian. Remember, he's speaking to his disciples. That would be like you and me, Christian. We are his disciples. We are followers of Jesus. He says, just like uh, I have loved you, you should love each other. And then he says this, because your love for one another, Christian, will prove to the world that you are my disciples or you are my followers. So Jesus here makes a declarative statement. He says, look, the more you love each other, Christians, the more the world looks upon you and says, oh my goodness, you follow Jesus. And ultimately what happens when people see us and they say, you follow Jesus, they say, I want what you have. So here's my challenge to you. Beyond the message, get plugged into a table group. I'm telling you now, you don't want to miss this. It's the most important next step that you have. You're like, well, Chris, how do I do that? It's not complicated at all. We've actually made it really easy. You can go right at riverbankchurch.com and just see right there, there's a link, table groups. And you sign up and watch this. We've made it so easy that we have like concierge service. All you do is fill that little form out and somebody will contact you immediately to say, hey, what kind of group do you want to be in? Let me find, I think I found one just for you. So you don't even have to get into the, you know, I know that's scary. Thinking like, what group do I join? You don't have to worry about it. We'll help you. It's that important. Jesus said it. He told his disciples, look, like I've loved you, you need to love each other. And when you love each other, the world sees you and says, I want what you have. And the rescue mission becomes a reality. And I would say there's no other time in human history than this rings true right now. You need other Christians in your life. Well, Chris, I'm on Facebook. I've got a look. If Facebook is your community, you've got serious problems. You probably need to deregister Facebook and get into a human group. OK, you need people. You need face to face time. And these table groups are smaller groups, a place to really connect with people that love Jesus. Hey, thanks for taking the time to hang out with me today. I'd encourage you uh, this coming week, you do not want to miss a new series that we're launching. It's called Hot Topics. A little hot tip right here. 
It's the best uh, intro to a series that we've ever produced. And I'm so excited about even the intro and the series is going to be really interesting. Going into an election season, we're going to talk about some of the hottest topics that you could ever wrap your head around and take a perspective from Scripture on those. So make sure you tune in. God bless you guys. I love you so much, and I'll see you soon.